UC President Janet Napolitano has asked for UC Davis Chancellor Linda Katehi to step down. There's a lot going on with this story. Not all UC Davis faculty is on board tonight. We have learned there is a petition. It is circulating on campus to keep Katehi in her position. We go now to CBS 13's Macy Jenkins. Uh, there are reports now that she has canceled her public appearances today, that she's in seclusion as these rumors swirl, Macy. Well, guys, that's what people are talking about here on campus. Just three days ago, Katehi announced a public forum and said she was looking forward to starting that conversation. But last night, she canceled it. Now students are wondering if there's more to the story, if this is a sign that Katehi will resign. Really not surprised. Many students eager to hear from UC Davis Chancellor Linda Katehi, but learning the public forum has been postponed makes them question her intentions. She's canceled it, so I feel like that adds... Uh, flame to the fire of the rumors that she's resigning because otherwise why would they be canceling that? UC Davis professor Colleen Clancy sent an email to her colleagues. She writes, the president has asked the chancellor to resign. We believe this sets a dangerous precedent within the UC system and invite you to sign the petition below. In it, hundreds of professors express their support for Katehi. She writes in an email today, colleagues, I am 100% committed to serving as chancellor of UC Davis. In the middle of the quad today, students have a demonstration. They call it airing Katehi's dirty laundry. Some of these messages very direct coming from students themselves and some of them just a picture. You put something up like this for what reason? Um, so students know um, like where their money has been going or what the administration of this campus has been doing. From budget concerns to anger over 2011's pepper spray incident, the students are eager to see Katehi step down. Still, they say their battle is far from over. Even if Katehi resigned right now while I was talking, I would still be here and still be angry because this is she's part of the problem. She's not the end of it. The students say they're still looking forward to getting an accountable administration, one in which their voices can be heard. Coming up at 6, I talk to Professor Clancy. She gives me a little bit more information. We'll have that story for you coming up a little bit later. And, uh, Macy, we should add here, we have not heard from UC President Janet Napolitano, and her silence has been deafening on this issue over the course of the last uh, week or two. So uh, we'll see what, what we get from that office in the days to come. Thanks so much. We'll see you at 6.